All right, boys, it's time to show you my setup. I've been waiting to do this video because you never feel like your setup is perfect. That's one of the points I want to make to you guys. You will never have enough. There is no end. You always want something new, something better, improve it somehow. You never feel like you're done. So, you know, that's just how it is. And another thing I want to show you guys about setups is that when I used to watch things like this, when I was first starting as a content creator, gamer, streamer, whatever it may be that you're thinking about, this stuff was overwhelming. It was. And one, I did not start like this. This is not how you start as a streamer. It's not how you start as a content creator. You start gradually, slowly. So I just want to show you guys what my stream looked like. If you take a look over here, this is what my stream looked like when I started. Top left was Madden 6, Madden 17, I believe. And then you go on Madden 19, Madden 20, and so on and so forth. So this is not an overnight thing. You don't get these things overnight. You don't, it's just, that's just not how this process works, man. So anybody, yeah, I know you're going to watch this like, wow, this is intimidating. How do I get that much stuff? Or how do I get that much equipment? It's so much money, blah, blah, blah. It does not happen overnight. All right. This is, I've been partnered on Twitch for six years. I've been gaming for 36 years. That's how old I am. So this is stuff that, uh, you know, I've gotten along the way. I moved on and continue to upgrade over and over. I also won a Madden Championship, help fund a lot of this stuff, you know, but at the end of the day, I always have an Xbox, always have a PlayStation. A computer was something I did not have until I started streaming. I streamed directly off of the Xbox to start my career as a streamer. That's how I think everyone should start, you know, without buying equipment. Equipment should not be the first thing you get when it comes to streaming. But this is what I got. Let's get it. I want to show you guys. If you'd like to see a video of all my memorabilia and everything, uh, we can do a separate one for that. I won't talk about that too much, but all my drawings, these are all my drawings. I am an artist. If you want to follow that, I'll put the link in below. Let's talk about this setup, how it started, what my ideas are, and how essentially it works. Uh, it was great a super blessing and uh, the first thing we got to do is where am I going to play Madden this is my job this is my career where am I going to do this I need somewhere this most almost the most paramount thing as far as buying a house was for me this had a great basement I'm going to show you guys because I did have a Twitter thread of my setup how I built everything I'm a little bit handy you know I was a blue collar guy before video games so I know how to turn a wrench and a drill so I did do a lot of this myself I will show you guys the Twitter link is below for this whole thread but let's take a look here I was this when I first moved in it was about a month before Madden 23 launched I believe and I put all my stuff in these bins and everything and this is the desk I had right here a little L desk Ikea special boys that's what this was an Ikea special probably no more than $200 a great desk honestly it held me down love the l-shaped desk love having my arm over there kind of leaning that's kind of what I had right so this is what the basement was before I started like it was just it was a nice rustic you know woodsy type of thing got the yellow walls got the wood floor got this tile right here it actually had a bar right here you see these doors into the laundry room here and actually uh, had a bar in here if you guys see this this was a bar right here and actually a sauna over here so it was a lot of stuff I had to take out to do this and that's what I eventually did as we go down here I tore out all that bar I tore out the sauna there is a bathroom behind me um, but then I came down with the floor I had to redo the flooring I had to fill that in you guys I had to do drywall all this stuff I did to expand this space that I'm sitting in right now then I had an unfinished ceiling painted all that 
because you know that was kind of the vibe was industrial thing and it would save me a lot of room and i'll come to that a little bit later and that the unfinished ceiling allows me to put wires in the wall and everything like that so this is how it was going this house my setup was essentially just like that and I painted it all black. Why? Because I was going to paint the ceiling. I decided, boom, we're going to paint the walls too. Why not? Let's just keep going. Paint it all black. So I loved how it got, love how it went down, finished the painting, boom, just like that. Now, I'll be honest, one of the biggest things that happened to me is that after I did all this, I, I put my desk, that same desk I had, I was going to use this desk right here. But I put it in the middle of the setup and I was like, this just isn't, it doesn't have the girth that we need. So what I did is I went to Home Depot, bought two sheets of plywood, some four by fours, some two by fours. Uh, and you know, luckily I have a drill and you know, some screws and we pretty much, and a, you know, a circular saw and we made some cuts. We made some diagrams. We got it done. I made this whole desk right here. Uh, you know, I just drew some things out, put some ceiling on the desk all these pieces we put together so i made this you know and honestly i would tell you guys and i'll show you this desk in more detail i would tell you guys if you're if you have the wherewithal to make a desk it's really not that complicated you know i think it's definitely the way to go and i'll show you guys later why that is you know but that's what i did pretty much you know we got it done made the desk all that stuff so let, let's get into exactly how this works too because that's what we got how does this work if you guys don't know i am a console streamer i stream from the console so i use the xbox i use a playstation i only have one pc a lot of streamers play on the pc so it'll have a dual pc setup i only have one now like i said this doesn't happen overnight i first started plugging in just an xbox to a tv so so on and so forth we move on i'll show you guys how this works and everything real quick before i actually show you the breakdown or whatever but I'll show you right now. This is my setup. Boom. We have a main monitor, a side monitor, and then we have our gaming monitor. I have our two systems here. PlayStation, or my PC is right here. My PC specs, I'll put those below as well for the one PC that I'm running right now. I don't play games off it. I just stream off of it. Uh, but like I said, I also obviously have a camera, a lighting. I have stream decks, mouse, microphone, everything. So if you guys want to know more about that, just ask questions. I'll show you as much as I can. But this is how it works, right? So I have two systems. I try. I mostly play play Xbox. So in a perfect world or in an easier world, I would just have an Xbox. But what we have to do here is we have to connect all these things now what i'll do is i'll run obviously i'll plug all these into the power supply but then i'll run a place to, this is hdmi cord here hdmi and then an hdmi from the xbox this goes into what i i call a switcher right so this is a switcher and i can press a button and change which hdmi it's using and then this hdmi and then it has one output right so you press a button and switch which HDMI is currently being used right here on the Xbox and the PlayStation. Boom. Now that goes to a splitter. So that splits that HDMI cord and one of them runs to my gaming monitor and one of them runs to my capture card on my PC. I have an internal quad capture card, HDMI capture card. So that's how that works. I turn on my Xbox and one, I hit the switch. So make sure it's on Xbox and it goes right to my gaming monitor and to my pc and obviously my pc will then go to this monitor and that monitor so that's kind of how i use my situation and everything like that all right boys here we go this is like i said this is my gaming monitor my main monitor just like that second monitor computer keyboard microphone stream deck my mouse my controllers everything into this custom desk that I have, you know, the paint's getting a little chipped. I might have to touch that up a little bit. But as you come over here, we've got the PC right here. We've got PlayStation, Xbox. We have, this is actually our modem right here. I uh, got the speakers for the TV in here as well that go to the TV, the Bluetooth sound bar speakers, all that good stuff. But the best thing about the actual building your own desk is you can put holes in the desk, like grommets or whatever they may be. And here we go. I put giant, cut giant holes with the jigsaw, so every single cord, all that, how I broke it down, it all goes into the desk. Doesn't hang over the desk, doesn't hang behind the desk. I'm able to put everything to the middle of the desk here. 
through those big holes, all the HDMI cords, all the USB cords go into that. So you hide it pretty well. You know, you don't really see any cords in my setup. One of my favorite things, and I actually have cords that go into this floor jack right here that helps support the beam here. That's why I have this Madam Totem here, just to kind of hide or decorate all these cords I have running up into our unfinished ceiling for different electricals, different cameras, as I have a camera hanging over here as my second camera. It's all into the ceiling of the floor, or the ceiling of the room. You see all these different cords. I actually have an HDMI cord from the PC all the way to the TV. So if I wanted to put PC on my TV, pretty easily could do that, you know. So that's one of the benefits of having the open ceiling and like I said, I have electric over here as well that I run my lights on and everything like this. So I have no cables going from, you know, just from the desk all the way to the ceiling. So that's the benefit of it. And I'll show you guys why I love having this hole in my desk and what I did to make it even better. Here I am, boys, underneath the desk. These are the holes you guys saw up top. I put every single one of my boxes, extension, power surge outlets or whatever, power surgers, different power cords I can plug into I actually glued them with industrial caulk to the bottom of my desk so everything's plugged in and locked in not on the ground as you see the ground is clear but on the bottom of my desk it's all glued up there all the cables are just hit with staples you know I hammered staples in to just hold the cables up and like I said every single one of these boxes is glued in with industrial caulk this is the switcher I talked about you see my PlayStation my Xbox then the out right here goes to the splitter, which is here. Then one of those goes to my gaming monitor, and one goes to my PC. So this is the best benefit of getting this essentially uh, custom desk that I built myself and I was able to put holes in, whether it be with the jigsaw or whether it be with the big hole saw, whatever it may be, we put holes in it to run our wires through the desk rather than under it, around it. And I have a toddler son, so there's absolutely no cables on the floor and i love that about it so you can run under a desk all right boys there's my setup there you see it if you have any questions please let me know i'll try to answer as many questions as i can maybe even with follow-up videos going forward but this is what i got this is a lot of years of working at it. it's a lot of years of watching sports being an eagles fan as well so just collected a lot of things throughout the years and really put my all into streaming the last uh five or six years so this is what we have looking to improve at every single moment let me know what you're looking for what's your next piece of equipment that you want for your gaming setup what are you playing on now are you an xbox guy xbox right to the tv was 20 years of my life at least so there's nothing wrong with that that's where i started but this is where we're at now let me know how you guys are feeling did you like this video did you guys lock in on a setup do you love it and like i said if you want to see it live every single night twitch.tv slash dub dot this is the other camera i showed you guys about right here boom the one that's over in the wall run through the cables all that stuff like that so i like to keep that view along with obviously the main webcam like this or my dslr camera and things like that so any equipment i'll try to put in the description make sure you guys check it out make sure you guys check out some streams it is madden season let's get it boys